Good evening. Tonight I'm going to look at um, Eel River Brewing Company's California Blonde Ale. Um, and it's certified organic, uh, if that's something that interests you. Um, it's 5.8% alcohol by volume, brewed out of um, Scotia, California. So Blonde Ales are usually um, very light, very gentle flavors, mild flavors. Um, so we'll see how this measures up. Okay. Let's see. I get a lot of um. Mm, very mild aroma, but um. A little bit of um, breadiness, biscuitiness, kind of, um, and a little bit of hop aroma too, but just a little bit. Yeah, um, so appearance, it's a beautiful um, golden, light golden color. Um, it looks like it poured with a little bit of head, but it dissipated pretty quickly. Um, it's got some bubbles going on in there. That's nice. I had a blonde ale once that was just so disappointing. It, it really barely had any flavor. Um, it wasn't interesting at all. And this is actually, um, this is nice. It has like a very soft sweetness, a very slight caramel sweetness. Can you turn that down just a little bit? Um, and um, just a little bit of malt in the, fi or excuse me, just a little bit of hops in the finish. Um, very nicely balanced in that respect, but very soft, um, easy on the palate, um, and very agreeable. So very nice. Uh, the balance, I think, is really the key here. Um, very nicely done. Um, so mouthfeel-wise, it's uh, it's a lighter body. Crisp carbonation. Um, good. Very good. Um, pretty carbonated. But good, so um, very, very drinkable. Um, you know, this is probably a great summer sitting out by the river kind of beer, uh, hence the Eel River, I imagine. Um, and um, the history of this particular style involves, um, says it's currently produced by many American microbreweries and brew pubs. Regional variations exist. Many West Coast brew pub examples are more assertive, like pale ale, more like pale ales. So hop beer, um, but in most areas, the beer designed to be the entry level craft beer. So it's pretty mild. It's a good gateway um, beer from um, I don't know what they call it. Traditional American breweries um, moving into the craft industry that want something that they can try that will probably be easy on the palate uh, and enjoyable, um, and then start to open them up to the different flavors that are happening um, in craft brews. So I like that a lot. Um, so, in addition to the more common American blonde ale, this category can also include modern English summer ales, American Kolsch-style ales, and less assertive American and English pale ales. Um, so, I like that there's some room in this category for interpretation, but all these really mild, um, um, mellow beers are going to end up here. Um, so, very, very good. Um, very good beer. Um, some things that are in this particular style is Russian River, um, Odd Blonde, um, mm. A Rogue Oregon Gold Ale, Widmer Blonde Ale, Fuller Summer Ale, uh, Red Hook Blonde. So some pretty heavy hitters in the blondes there. Um, very well done. Um, very drinkable, uh, organic, uh, and so that's always a selling point for some people. Um, and oh, I forgot to look at its alcohol by volume, and I usually don't pay that much attention to it, but after drinking some of these Mavericks beers um, by Half Moon Bay, I'm like, hey, where's the alcohol? So hold on two seconds, let's check that. Um, so the style calls for 3.8 to 5.5. So this is 5.8. So it actually comes in a little over this particular style category. But um, uh, at this point, you know, it makes up for Mavericks, I suppose, right? So um, anyway, so alcohol is a little bit high, um, but very drinkable, enjoyable, um, great beer. If it's something that you've tried, share with me down below. Um, I happen to get this as a single bottle um, at Whole Foods. And... Um, yeah, and I'm glad that I tried it. It's probably not something I would necessarily pick up normally, 
Um, so I, the single beers I tend to be a little more adventurous with because I'm not stuck with a whole six pack of them. Um, so anyway, if it's something that you've tried, share with me down below. I would love to hear um, what you thought. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.